Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 53, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, COVID. That's right, I have COVID. Ashley has COVID. She got it a couple days before me. I think that's probably how I contracted it is from her. But let me kind of rewind and give you guys an idea of how this week has gone because there's a lot of crazy stuff happening this week. So um, earlier in the week, Ashley started feeling not right. Uh, she doesn't, you know, she's never had COVID before, so she didn't really know if it was COVID that she had. But uh, one particular day, she's like, yeah, I'm just not feeling as well as I normally do. So she started wearing like two two masks at one time, any time that she was around me or anybody else. And she didn't go into the office. And uh, I think about a day or day and a half later, she ended up going and getting tested and it came out positive. And we found that out midday Tuesday. Now, I had not been showing any symptoms up until that point, but when we found out that she had COVID on Tuesday afternoon, basically what happened is we canceled the rest of my appointments for the rest of the entire week. And so basically since Tuesday afternoon, I have not gone into the office and you might be thinking to yourself, well, aren't you guys opening up your new clinic location next week, the 11th of January? And you would be correct by that, but I have not taken any part in any of the move. Ashley has not taken any part of the move. And basically we have three staff members who are moving everything. So Chris, Christine, and Bryce, they are basically having to move everything and they were seeing patients up and their Bryce was seeing patients up until midday on Thursday, at which point they started packing up the place or finished packing up the place and uh, loaded everything into a moving truck and drove that down to the new location in North Phoenix and started, uh, I guess, setting everything up. And they were there late on Thursday night. They came in on Friday, spent all day Friday there. Uh, the place was an absolute mess. I'm gonna show you guys some photos of what it looked like at the end of the day on Friday. And fortunately, they went back in today and continued to clean up and set up the office so at least it's presentable on, on Monday morning. Now, I won't be seeing any patients throughout the entire week uh, of the 11th because now that I've had a positive COVID test, so I went in on, on Friday morning to get my nose swabbed, which was not the most pleasant experience in the world. Uh, not that it wasn't pleasant when I was getting it done, it just kind of tickled a little bit, but it actually irritated my, my, like my sinus cavity or something like that on, on my left side uh, so bad to where like I had this really bad post-nasal drip the rest of the day, at, which made my throat really sore. My throat's still really sore right now but just a mess. But, you know, to rewind again, we think Ashley got it because she had been spending a lot of time working with the contractors to try to get the space finished. And so there are, you know, different people coming in. Some people feel like they don't need to be wearing masks. And, you know, Ashley would always wear a mask, but uh, because she was interacting with them so much, she wasn't really coming into our clinic to be around our patients. And good thing because she ended up, we think, getting COVID from that particular interaction. Um, as you've been paying attention to the vlog, if you've been play paying attention to the vlog, you know that we did not go home and to see family on Thanksgiving or, or Christmas or New Year's or anything like that. We just stayed hunkered down inside the whole time and then we ended up getting COVID anyway, so go figure. And it would just happen to be uh, occurring at the exact worst time possible for us to get COVID because we're literally moving into the new office this week and over the weekend um, and we haven't been able to help we would have been entirely moved probably within a day and a half but we went from having six individuals to help move down to three because our other staff member we didn't want to get her sick uh, by potentially having some kind of interaction and anyway so we just we just wanted to be really precautious with everything um, but the clinic is coming along nicely. So um, I've been kind of showing some of those photos here to you right now. Um, and it, it's coming along and hopefully, you know, I probably won't get any good solid video footage like a tour over the course of this week, but hopefully next week and I'll be able to give you an actual uh, tour where things are almost completely finished. We still have to do some finishing touches. There still has, you know, to be frosting put on the glass uh, to make things more private in there. 
Um, and then, you know, just some different things like decor and all of that and acoustic tiling that we know that we're going to want to do. But we're going to live in the space a little bit just to kind of see how it goes. Uh, but it's just a really crummy thing to get COVID when this is this should be one of the most exciting times right now of getting moved into the new clinic. And, and primarily, I just feel bad that we're having staff do this and them coming in on their weekends voluntarily so they can have things ready to go on Monday. And then I won't even be there on Monday. Uh, Bryce will be seeing patients on Monday. But uh, just kind of a, a weird situation, uh, bad timing for this all to happen. That being said, though, I'm very fortunate that uh, I feel as good as I do because uh, early on I noticed I started with a very light cough and then it kind of transitioned into getting the chills where you know it kind of feels like your skin's crawling and I would wake up you know I think Tuesday night Thursday night Friday night I woke up with like in the cold sweats uh, I to the point where I literally would have a towel that I would sleep next to because I knew I was going to wake up just like profusely sweating and being freezing at the same time and taking a towel and like drying myself off so I can go back to bed like crazy. I mean, um, haven't experienced that in a long time, uh, but it's still not as bad as the flu. I mean, the flu is way worse for me anyway. Um, it seems like a really, really bad cold, only without all the congestion from it. I still can't taste anything, which is the thing that's really starting to bother me now, is that, you know, eating anything, like you have in your mind like what it should taste like, but you just can't taste it. But it's not like you can't smell. I mean, I can't really distinctly smell things. Like if I took an orange peel and put it up to my nose, because I've been eating a lot of oranges, I can smell the orange peel, but it doesn't smell quite as distinct as it normally would. And then everything else just has a bland flavor. Um, but it's a very weird, it's a different kind of not being able to taste than the type of not being able to taste that you have when your nose is completely clogged with snot when you have a cold. It's like two completely different things. Very, very odd. Um, but hopefully, you know, I think, you know, at this point I'm on the mend. Uh, Ashley's on the mend. Ashley's feeling better than I am right now. She's a couple days ahead of me in terms of recovery, so that's a good thing. Uh, and I think that her time ends in quarantine, I think on Wednesday, but then if she's still around me, I'm not quite sure if that means that we have to come out of quarantine at the same time, which would be this coming, this next Friday. So uh, we'll see. But uh, I should be able to start seeing patients on the 18th of January. So today they were actually calling my patients and if you're one of my patients watching this right now, uh, you'll notice that you're not going to be able to see me this coming week. You're going to have to see me at some point later in January or, or maybe even February depending on what type of appointment that was for. Or you can see Dr. Altus would be a good good option as well. So, um, But yeah, uh, just I'll continue to recover. I should be able to really work hard on creating some video content. As you can tell, I'm not quite the lively uh, cliff as I normally am right now, so I do need to recover a little bit more. My, my throat is still really sore from all that, uh, the sore throat from the post-nasal drip, but hopefully by tomorrow or maybe even Monday, that'll be better because I have a really big hearing aid review coming out on Tuesday, which I'm really excited about. Uh, really, really, really cool hearing aid that I, I got to review here, got an early sneak peek of so so uh, be ready for that one and uh, you know if you haven't seen any of the other videos on the progress of the clinic uh, now would be a good time to go back and watch some of those earlier videos to get a kind of a understanding on on where things uh, started and I want to say the first video that I posted on the clinic was probably about a year ago at this point because this is my what my 53rd vlog uh, and, and 54 weeks worth of recording uh, technically so um, go back and watch some of the older videos to see where the clinic came from to where it is right now and I think here in the next couple weeks you're gonna see a really cool like uh, uh, beginning to end uh, transition of the space that we had you know, kind of see it come full circle uh, I can tell you that it's cost us a lot more money it's cost us a lot more time than we had originally intended fortunately um, you know, even with just taking our own savings, me and Ashley, we've been able to kind of uh, curb that pain by just being able to pay for certain things out of our own pockets uh, instead of having it go through a loan. So, um, you know, that's uh, we're fortunate in that way to be able to not have this financially ruin us, <laughs> uh, which is which is good news. But uh, the good, the best part of it is, is that it's going to be a very, very nice facility for our patients. 
And I'm really excited to, uh, to kind of welcome uh, our patients back into our new facility that it'll be really nice and it'll really lend itself well to patient care and having a really enjoyable experience while you're there. So hopefully you guys like it. Uh, and you've seen some of the, the photos at this point. So hopefully you've enjoyed the photos and kind of seeing the mess that it is right now. Uh, like I said, you know, we're, we're lifting the curtain on this stuff. So, you know, uh, you get to see all the messes and all the stuff that no one would ever want you to see. We're letting you see all that stuff right now. So, um, but I can tell you this, one of my staff members, uh, Chris, she actually kind of did just a walkthrough on Duo with, with Ashley and I. And, and they, they got a whole lot done today in terms of cleaning it up, even from the photos that I just showed you. So uh, it's gonna be really, really nice, uh, hopefully by the time I get to show you the space again. So um, that is all that I have for today. Ashley's doing good, I'm doing better. Uh, COVID is, uh, it's no fun, but it, uh, I've had worse. I definitely can sympathize with the individuals out there who uh, got COVID way, way worse than I did. Um, you know, fortunately, respiratorily speaking, Ashley and I are in really good cardiovascular shape. So we've, we've probably fared better because of that. Um, but I don't, I don't take that for granted. I, um, you know, COVID is, is definitely no fun. I do have my name in on the list to be vaccinated as well. So hopefully I get vaccinated at some point fairly soon, even though maybe I'll have some kind of built up immunity from this. I really don't know. Um, still going to be precautious, still going to wear a mask all the time in front of patients, even after I do get the vaccine and all of that. So uh, we'll see how things go. But um, I've rambled on enough. I've taken enough of your guys' time. Uh, I know that there's going to be some uh, well wishes in the comment section. So I'm just going to thank you guys in advance for that. And uh, as always, I'll see you next week.